Hello, everyone. Now, Roseanne is going to get us started tonight with our bug watch. Roseanne, could you tell us a little bit about the flea beetle and why we might be concerned to find them in our garden? Thanks, Becky. I appreciate it. Um, the flea beetle, kind of an interesting bug here. Um, it's aptly named because it is beetle, but it's small and flea-like in appearance. So we could confuse it with fleas, if, particularly if you have pests around the house. Um, it's a common pest for the vegetable crops and chews these tiny little irregular shaped holes in the leaves, um, or it leaves little tiny brown spots on the leaves. You can see some in the slide there. Um, most of the flea beetles are specific to certain plants. Um, so it just depends upon which one you have. Uh, if you have severe damage, you know, a little bit's not going to be a problem, but a severe damage can result in the wilted and stunted plant. And of course, then you're not getting any production from the plant. So that's a concern. Um, we can manage these through cultural and chemical controls. So what I've done here is list some of the host plants. So if you are growing any of these in your gardens, you may want to keep an extra eye out for the flea beetle. And then we're going to be talking, as Becky said, about tomatoes and eggplants tonight. So um, it's very appropriate for those. The controls I've learned about were cultural, okay? You can tilt the soil, uh, any weeds and crop debris in the fall to mix it in and get rid of those. And you can also use garden fabric over the ground to help protect it. Um, use hoops with cloth to cover the plants until they're done flowering or just protect the plant with fabric, that garden fabric until the flowering is done. So that's when the uh, flea beetles are most damaging. You might choose to use organic or biological controls. I found um, this indicated as dusting the plant with a diatomaceous earth, which is known as DE, um, kind of an interesting product. It's all natural product made from aquatic plant fossils. So it is organic. But if you're gonna use this, be sure to purchase the food grade DE. Because apparently there is a, a form of it is used in swimming pools and other things. And obviously you don't want that type. You want the uh, food grade one. And the, this product is great because it doesn't harm any worms or any of the beneficial microorganisms that we want in our bark. Okay, chemically, we can treat the plants with a registered insecticide if you find they're in damaging numbers. Um, you can refer to the uh, pest management guide that you can find on the Fairfax County Master Gardener website, okay, 2022. That will give you a lot of information, but you want to be sure to read the instructions on the product that you choose, okay, and wear any protective gear that it recommends. Okay, that's important. You want to read those instructions and follow them directly. All right, so that's what I have on the flea beetle. And back to you, Becky. Thank you, that was fantastic. I had no idea that they were specific to the crops. I thought that there was just one that ate everything. <laughs> um, that was great, thank you.